Hey, good morning everyone. I hope everybody's having a great morning. It's 6 o'clock in the morning. I woke up late. Yeah, because I'm usually up at 5.30. Uh, woke up and my hand's swollen. Kind of crazy. Look at that. You can tell it's swollen. Look at it. Plus, I cut my finger last night. Oh, it hurts so bad. Man. Look at that. You can tell it's swollen. I don't know if you can tell right there. But... I can tell so long. But anyways, let's get these little guys in so I can talk to y'all better. Look how this looks, guys. I put the, both the secure and the fix in it, but look how it's coming out. Look at that. I can just wipe it off. It's not even staying. Like, it just came off. Yes, again. Can y'all let me know why it did that? Because it didn't even spread, it just clumped up and made it into a little ball. It didn't even do anything. I mean, it didn't even spread. I spread it with the Q-tip. It didn't do nothing. I spread it with the, um, my finger. It didn't do anything. I took it off, and now I'm just using just the fix it by itself. And it's spreading, so I don't understand why the Secure didn't spread. It's kind of weird. Maybe they don't work together. Maybe y'all can let me know in the comments why they did that. I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand. Okay, I took all the secure off. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the fix it in and I'm going to do the little dots. So no secure on it at all. I took it all off, but I use this and um, I did three little dots. Well, yeah, three little dots. The front, the two sides. Let's see how it works. I hate when I put in my teeth, it hurts right here on the gum. And look at the way my teeth look when I, my gum, my lip looks whenever I put it in. I like get stuck on the on this. It gets stuck on the inside right there. I'm gonna wipe the inside, make sure I don't have nothing. I learned like if you get it wet, it's a lot better. And if y'all put any comments in any of my videos, I will get to them. I will answer them. Um, it's just that it's been very hectic last two days. Four days, really, at work because I brush these teeth and they still look like they're not clean. Disgusting. Disgusting. Ooh, 
guy comes in handy. Ooh, thank you. I don't want the top to get wet, so yeah, half, half of a job. Putting water in my mouth. I'll do the whole thing in a minute. Let it dry. Let all this stuff dry. Yeah. Okay. These little guys are in. I don't feel no oozy right now, but I haven't ate nothing. So you know what that means. Once I eat something, the ooze starts coming out. And guess what? Yesterday, it was so bad. I was eating yesterday. I couldn't even eat the rest of my food yesterday morning because it was all coming out in the back and some coming up up here. And I didn't even put that much. I mean, I put a little bit. And I guess that little bit goes a long way. Now I know, but it was kind of crazy because it went everywhere. I was freaking out. I was spitting it out. Chunks were coming out. TMI, yes, I know, but I mean, it was nasty. I was grossing out because, because of um, the stuff coming out. And the spit was getting stuck in the back on the top and it tastes, ugh. Let's just say it was disgusting. Anyways, I need to go fix this hair because I had to go to work. So I'll be back in a little while, talk to y'all, and let y'all know how it's going. See if the little dots and the little bit of fix it works. Yeah, so I'll be back. Hey, Nini. Okay, guys, good morning. To everybody if y'all didn't hear my beginning of my video wanted to show you my little guys don't mind the mess here are my little guys see the little kitties there's one there's one there's some over there four little bitty babies unfortunately the baby kitty that I was trying to keep alive he passed away I guess um, he wasn't strong enough to make it and yeah so yes I'm sorry to say I'm sad because I cannot believe that somebody would come drop off some baby kittens here at my house and then to think that those kittens were gonna latch on to my other kittens and or cats and um, think that they were gonna stay alive. I mean, who would have thought? Like, are you serious? Kinda, kinda crazy because you know, you can't. You can't just drop off kittens and then expect them to stay alive or to to latch on to a cat that's not even theirs. I mean, I tried and it didn't work. I tried bottle feeding them and I tried everything I could. I mean, I tried to keep this little kitty alive and I feel so bad because I couldn't do that. I mean, he stayed alive for a few days. I gave him that, you know. He got that uh, from me. That he was able to live for a few days. Able to eat for a few days. But I guess it wasn't his time. I don't know um, what the case may be. I mean, I feel so bad because, you know, he's he passed away. And... I tried everything. I tried my best to keep him alive. I tried I tried everything just to keep him going and nothing worked. I just feel so bad and so It's just heartbreaking knowing that I couldn't keep him alive. I just 
Y'all don't know what this means. Y'all don't know how this feels to me. Like, like it's just heartbreaking knowing that I couldn't keep the cat alive. But I was just showing y'all my other little kittens, you know, the other cats that I have. And, um... Letting y'all know that I tried to keep him alive, or her. I don't know what it was, he or she. I think it was a little boy. It looked like it, but I don't know for sure. So, I tried to keep him going, and... I mean, it was out of my hands. And he had some good little lungs. He was crying loud. I mean, it was crazy. I mean, but... I guess God wanted him with him, so he went up to little heaven with little kitty heaven. And the thing is, we have like a little pet cemetery in the back of our house. So like my daughter had actually two dogs and uh, both of them got parvo. And instead of, uh, you know, you know how some people, they just throw them in the trash and, oh, just forget about them. No, we don't do that. We put our dogs in a little blanket or something that they used. Whatever that they, they used, like a blanket or a pillow or, you know, whatever they were using. And whatever they played with, we put them in that. We put their little toy or whatever they played with with them. Uh, my daughter always put a little picture or um, something in there for them. My daughter put like a little cross, like you get so you can go put on on a um, what you call it, like when you go to the cemetery and you put it on one of the things. It was like a little cross with flowers on it. She bought two of those and she put them out there. So like cats or dogs that we got attached to. Or that we were attached to. I mean, it wasn't many that we had. Thank God. But the ones that did pass away, they're in our backyard. So, we have a little pet cemetery back there. So, little guys went back there. And, like, there was one from the little kittens that I showed y'all just now. The little kittens that are on there. One of them, he was a runt. He was the cutest little guy. Oh my God, he was so cute. And um, I guess he was just too small and he passed away. And uh, we buried him there in the back. So that's what we did with the little kittens. They got buried and now they're resting. Poor little guys. They didn't deserve this. They didn't deserve what they, what these people did to them. I mean, it's crazy. I'll be back. So, just wanted to come on here and talk to you for a minute. Because, like always, today is another day. Another bad day. But, I did have... I don't know if y'all can see it. I have some oozing coming out the back. And I didn't even put that much on. So, I'm scared if I put less, it's not going to stick right. So, I'm scared. I'm kind of skeptical about that. But, every day is a learning process. Every day is, you know, trial and error. So, you know, I'm going to try it. If it fails, I'm going to try it again. But it was kind of weird how the secure and the fix it in didn't mesh well together. So, and I had to take off the secure and just put the fix it in. That was kind of strange, though. But anyways, yeah. And I had another question because I talked. To, I was talking to my daughter yesterday. And she just had a baby. And I would show you what her baby looks like. He is so adorable. But they don't want him on any social media or anything like that. So, I'm not going to post him on anything. Um, just because she asked me. Now, if she wouldn't have said nothing, I would be posting them everywhere. But since they're skeptical about posting them on anything, I'm not going to.
post them. But he's adorable. Believe me, he's adorable. But anyways, um, she went to the doctor to get her, I guess, four-week checkup for after having the baby. And um, I didn't know that if you weren't 21, or that you were, if you were under 21, the doctor can't check you, like, down there. Like, any moms out there, I mean, I had my kids a long time ago, and what I remember is when I had my baby at 18, the doctor checked me down there to make sure everything was okay, which I had a C-section with all four of my kids, so I wouldn't understand why he checked me or make sure everything was okay. I don't know. I know there's a TMI, but, you know, you moms out there that know what I'm talking about, did they just pass a law saying that they couldn't check nobody that's under 21, that they have to be 21 and up? Um, I'm kind of confused about that because I never heard that. And for her, do her doctor to tell her that he can't check her until she's 21, you know, that's kind of strange. You know, what if something's wrong? What if, you know, you never know. Because he's not going to check her until she's 21. So, it, it kind of got me there. But, yeah. And I ate a little this morning, but I'm not going to eat that much. Um, no, I'm not going to eat that much. Uh, I think I'm gaining weight, and I don't want to. And the reason why I know I'm gaining weight is look at my pants. They feel tight right here. You can tell that they're tight. I mean, they don't feel tight. I can feel it. I can tell I'm gaining weight. So, I think um, I need to start walking again. And I need to go on a diet. Yeah. Because this isn't cutting it. Definitely not. But anyways, I had that question. If y'all can let me know down in the comments. Let me know what y'all what y'all think, or if y'all know if if you know maybe she misunderstood him or something. I don't know. Just let me know in the comments and um, make sure I understood her right because that's kind of strange. But anyways, uh, I'll talk to y'all later. Oh yeah, I want to let y'all know I'll be able to talk to y'all a little more today because. One of the ladies that went out on maternity leave, she's back. The boss man told her she can come back because it was crazy out here. I guess uh, we couldn't handle it or something. I don't know. But anyways, um, so yeah, uh, she's back. So I'll be able to talk to you a little more. Unlike yesterday's video, it was so short. It was short, sweet, and nice, and to the point, right? Yeah, I think so. And I really didn't have to edit it that much because I left pretty much everything in there. I mean, I want y'all to know what I'm talking about. If I have something that, oops, I, for, I should have said that, or oops, oh, yeah. I'm going to leave all that in there. Yeah. Just so y'all can know what I'm talking about. Because, you know, sometimes I have some crazy stuff that I come up with. And, yeah, y'all will probably laugh at me or y'all will probably think I'm just as crazy. Yeah. I'll be back in a little bit. You know, I do believe that I made this channel so I could talk about my dentures. And I know I asked, you know, what else y'all would want me to talk about. But the main thing on this channel is my dentures because I'm going to get the bottom ones next year. So that'll be the main thing. I mean, I asked y'all if there's a little bit of things that y'all want to know about me or if y'all want to know anything else, you know, just let me know. But I'm not going to change my channel around just because somebody doesn't want to know about dentures, okay? I'm not going to change my content. I'm not going to start doing makeup. I don't wear makeup. I don't use makeup. So that's a no for me. Sorry. But, I mean... This is why I made the channel was for my dentures to let y'all know what's going on, why I'm having all these problems, what's this, what's that. Yeah, and I throw in little stuff here and there that's going on throughout the day, but it doesn't mean I'm going to change my content. I just wanted to let you know that. I just wanted to put that out there because I know I had got a comment telling me, hey, why don't you do makeup? I don't do makeup. Sorry. That's just me. 
so people want me to talk about different things on here I'll try to come up with different things you know try to see like I know like earlier I asked some questions and I don't know I can come up with some things and, you know we can interact and we can talk I do I do want to let everybody know I do see your comments I like them just so you know that I read them um, if I haven't responded to you I might put it in a video and talk about it in a video so don't get discouraged don't think that I not gonna respond to you it's not that it's that I'm probably just gonna talk about it in the video and uh, you know y'all can reply or respond or whatever to the video whenever I do talk about your uh, comments and um, because sometimes it gets kind of hectic for me or sometimes it gets kind of busy so you know I just I thought that maybe that would be like easier or maybe faster just so I can I'll read the comment or I'll read the comment and then I'll just reply I won't read the comment well I don't know let me know in the comments if I should read your your comment and then answer or if I should just answer the comment. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Let me know in the comments below what y'all want me to do. I mean, I don't care, you know. I'm pretty much open to anything, you know. So, like, we want to do the comments. You know, y'all put comments. I'll talk about it in my next video. Um... Whatever the case may be, y'all want me to talk about certain something in one of my videos, I can do that. Um, and just let me know. I mean, believe me, I am not a hard person to get along with. I'm very easy to get along with. So, I mean, I'll have y'all laughing. Or I might come up with some funny stuff that I'll have y'all laughing. Or just random thoughts, you know? Or just like my uh, mosquitoes the other day in my other video, you know? They can be like the dinosaurs. <laughs> anyway, so, yeah, uh, just let me know in the comments. You know, I like the way my teeth look when I have them in. I hate, hate with the passion when my teeth are out. And I hate talking to my husband or looking at my husband when I don't have my teeth in. I just wish that I can, I just wish that I can, you know, keep my teeth in, like, for good. And, you know, I thought about the dental, the implants or whatever they're called, you know, the ones that they screw in. I thought about those, but they said that our bone density has to be real good and uh just so they can screw them in but i don't know i don't even know how much that is if anybody knows how much like roughly how much that costs let me know in the comments below i just want to know i mean i'm so busy that i can't even believe me i'm so busy i can barely have time to go to the bathroom you know tmi yes but when i'm at work I hardly have enough time to do anything so just let me know in the comments what you know if you all know anything about that or you know where I can look like online maybe I can do it at night um, I need to find someone close to me but I think if I would do the implants I would I would probably like it a lot more because I don't have to worry about taking them off and putting them in taking them off put them in I'd rather just leave them in my husband he came up to me and he's like he had this little bottle i will show you whenever i get home it's some kind of glue i don't remember what kind of glue it was but y'all will laugh at the glue he told me he goes this is what i was looking for i was gonna give it to you so you can keep your teeth in yes my teeth will never come out with that glue i will definitely show you all that glue i think it's jb weld or something I'll show y'all whenever I get home. Oh my God, y'all are going to die laughing because 
I looked at him and I just started bawling. I was like, are you serious? I said, my teeth are never going to come out if I use that stuff. And he goes, exactly. So I just, I don't like being around or not being around. I just don't like talking to my husband whenever I don't have my teeth in because it's like my teeth, like right, my gums right here, like they go, when I talk, it feels like they go in and out, like flutter, flutter. Like they go back and forth and it's like so funny. I'm like, oh my God, you know, I'm thinking it's funny, but, and you know, I'm thinking that, but then I think of, I'm over here thinking too. My husband's looking at me. He's probably thinking I'm so pathetic and I'm so ugly. And like, he don't want to be with me just because I don't have teeth. You know what I mean? And then next year I'm supposed to get the bottoms done. What am I supposed to think then? You know, is he still going to want to be with me? I mean, I don't know. You know, this is kind of stuff that I think about, like, wonder about. Yeah, a lot of people tell me, you know what? Don't worry about things that you can't take care of. You know, don't worry about that stuff. That stuff comes, you know, when it happens, it happens. And it's not that, you know, don't don't think negative. Always think positive. Because you always think positive. You know nothing's going to happen. Everything's going to be going straight, you know, straight like a straight line you everything's gonna be popping for you everything's gonna be good for you but you know I, i've always wondered that you know he always sends me text messages and tells me you know i love you you're the world to me i'll never leave you and i'm like oh and you know he's like the best husband in the world i love him so much so so yeah, I always have to throw him in my videos just to give you a little sneak peek that there he is or he's here with me just like yesterday. I was like, oh, was it yesterday or the day before? Yesterday, the day before. He, me and him were in the car and I was like, hey, say hi, babe, you know, so just to tell you all hi. Maybe I'll do that today. Let's tell him to tell you all hi. But anyways, um, I'm going to let you go for now. I'll be back. Um, I'm looking a hot mess right now. I'm looking very hot mess. I look ugh. Ugh. Not me and my fat ugly so yeah, I'll be back. But another thing at this job that I have to do and I wanna thank my mom, my grandma, my grandpa, you know, my family that talk to me in Spanish. I wanna thank them for doing that because if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't know nothing about Spanish right now. I understand it, and I can speak a little bit of it. I mean, I, I can get what I need to get, you know. If I need something, I know how to get it. But the majority of the people that are working with us don't know English. They all know Spanish. And my Spanish is like a Tex-Mex Spanish, so it's kind of like an English Spanish kind of, you know. And theirs is like the real Spanish. So sometimes they speak like Spanish so fast. It's like, okay, what, wait, 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 what did you just say? You know, they have to do it slower. And I'm like, oh, okay, now I know what you're talking about. I mean, I understand what they're saying, but sometimes their Spanish is a little fast. But yeah, I want to thank my mom and my family that taught me how to do that. Because I didn't go to school and uh, take that for any classes. I didn't take Spanish for no classes. Actually, no, I didn't take any Spanish or French classes or anything like that. Because when we, mo we moved one time and they said that I didn't need it wherever I moved to. So I was like, oh, cool. So, yeah, I mean, that was good. So, you know, I want to thank them. You know, I'm going to thank them a lot. But maybe one day, you know, you can hear me talking Spanish and I'll be like, oh, yeah, blah, 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 you know. You can hear me. I know in some of my videos I talk, you know, I said a couple of words, but, you know, not a lot. But just want to let y'all know that because, yeah, I'm learning a lot more than what I did know. But that's a good thing. Anyways, I'll talk to y'all later. So, you know what? Pretty soon I'm going to have to have a new phone. Because I keep on dropping this phone on cement. And now it's like all cracked up all right here yes I'm glad my camera's still working thank God
<laughs> but anyways, yeah, I might have to get me a new phone. Or maybe I should just start using my camcorder. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to try my camcorder one day. And uh, I don't know if I'll be able to do it in here. Or maybe I should use my camcorder like on the weekends and just use my phone. Because I don't want them to say nothing here at work. I'll just use my phone here at work and my camcorder at home or like if we do stuff on the weekend because I know this weekend we're going to go to the movies and do a few things um, see if my husband can spoil me again like last weekend or last two weekends ago I guess we'll see but anyways uh, yeah uh, I guess I'll get back with y'all and I'll let y'all know what's up what I'm going to use and hopefully I don't drop my phone anymore. Don't tell my husband. <laughs> so, hey guys. Just wanna come on here, talk to you. I forgot what I was gonna talk about. Oh, I know what I was gonna talk about. I didn't have this many gray hairs up here. Until all this stuff started going on at work and um, I had to take on more responsibilities. Thank God that this other girl came back from maternity leave. I probably mentioned that in the beginning of the video. But yeah, I'm glad she's back because it helps us out where we don't have to be running around like chickens with our heads cut off. So I really appreciate that. Bad thing is, I don't talk to them. I just do my job and when it comes four o'clock I'm gone because ain't got no time to be sitting there chit-chatting while you're off the clock uh no ma'am and when you're on the clock it's work time that ain't time to socialize that ain't time to oh let's chit-chat or anything no I'm sorry that's just me that's the way I feel. That's the way I work. I work and sit there and lollygag all day long like half the people there. Or take two hour lunch breaks or breaks. Or when you first get in there, you know, just take your time when you get in there. So yeah, I, I'm not that type of person. I'm the type of person that goes to work to do her job and to go. Maybe that's why, maybe that's why nobody likes talking to me. Because I do my job and I don't worry about nobody else. I was like, okay, you do shit. Hey, that's on you. That's not me. If you don't do your work, that's on you. I'm not going to sit here and talk to you and then turn around for you to come and say, oh, well, she didn't let me work because... She was talking to me. Uh, no. Not gonna happen. So, yeah. Anyways. So, yeah. I just wanted to get that off my chest. But. Let me let you know. On the back of my denture. I feel like there is. Most of y'all seen the way the back of my denture looks. Like it has that, um the stuff that the dentist put on there you can see it um, like it's uneven and everything well I put fix it in on there all that fix it in is gone from right there in the back part it all came out actually it gave me a nasty taste in my mouth I had to spit it out or at least try to um, but I don't I don't have nothing back there and if I open my mouth on the sides of my mouth in the back, I can see some of the fixident just like rolling down. It's only on one side. It looks like the fixident, but it might not be. It might be like just saliva or whatever. Saliva. Uh, whatever it's called. You know what I'm talking about. Anyways, um, so yeah, I I open my mouth and it looks like that's what it is that's back there and like oh, gross. But anyways, yeah. But I'm gonna let y'all go. I have to get home. Husband has to work tonight. <laughs> I can't believe it. He 
goes back tonight and I'm gonna be home alone. I hate being home alone. It's like that little movie. Ah, yeah. <laughs> it's like that movie, Home Alone. Yeah, I'm gonna be home alone. And it's just gonna be me and me our puppies. So, yep. I just don't like it when he works nights. But it's always a month nights, month days, so. I never can get used to it. He's like, you need to get used to it. That's my job, that's my hours. I'm like, I know, but. I like it when he's on days. But anyways, so I'll talk to y'all in a little bit. I have to hurry up here home. Make him some supper and some lunch for work. So guys, sorry for, I know it's a mess back there, but sorry for the TV being so loud. But let me show you the glue that my husband wanted me to put in my mouth. Really? He wanted me to put this in my mouth so my teeth can stay in. It's clear and it's transparent. And it's flexible. Really? I can't believe it. he would want me to put this in my mouth. I just want to show you what he wants me to use. Hey guys. Um, so, I'm already at home. Husband's going to work, so... I'm gonna take these puppies off because I'm already like ready to lay down. I don't know. I just haven't been feeling it this past couple of days. I guess because you know all this workload that they've get given us at work. So it's like it's like yeah. I don't even want to do anything. But hopefully everything starts turning around pretty soon. You know, one of the ladies came back to work, so that took some of the workload off of us. But, you know, there's still a lot of crazy stuff going out there. If you would hear the stuff that happened at work, you would be freaking out too. Like, yeah, for reals. I don't know. If y'all want to hear it, let me know. Um, Let me know in the comments below if y'all want to hear about that story. Actually, it's not a story. It's for reals. Real life. Um, but I don't know if I should say it now because it's still under investigation. Yeah. So hearing that, so you know it's something pretty bad that's going on there at work. But, like, nobody can move to a different position. Nobody can, uh, if they want to leave, they can quit. But other than that, yeah. Uh, yeah. Just let me know. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and get these little guys out. And let's see how easy it is to take them off because they didn't feel loose today. I didn't feel no bubbles. It felt great. Just except for the back part, I can feel like it doesn't have no fixative on it. Like it just came off. I know I had a wipe a few times, but that was pretty much it. Um... Look, my ring doesn't even fit me. Look at that. My ring, it can fall off like any minute. One time I just flung my hand like that and my ring still went flying. They don't fit me. They don't fit. Oh, well. They did fit before I lost weight. Now I'm gaining it back, so maybe they'll fit me again. No, oh, I don't want to gain weight. Why? 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 I don't want to gain weight. Oh my god, the torture. Maybe if I would stop eating. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Alright, well, let me get these little guys out. And then I'll talk to you in a bit. After I get them out. Let's see how easy it is to take them off.
these are out. It didn't take that long to get them out. I mean, it didn't hurt or anything. You know, I didn't have to brush too hard. So that is a plus. Um, I had to change my toothbrush because the other one was already, the, bristle, the, br the bristles were already all flattened out. Like this one that needs to be thrown away too. Yeah. Anyways, um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if y'all haven't already. Hit that bell to get notified whenever I post a video. And, um, yeah. <laughs> um, I guess I'll see y'all later.